G'day, g'day, gang. Welcome back to some more Alliance War action here in Puzzle Combat. Uh, I will jump straight in. Uh, we are up against the Avengers, and I have an absolute Barry Crocker to start ourselves off with. I got DC'd at the start of the battle, and then the game just absolutely cold out, refused to reconnect. And when it finally did reconnect, we got this load of crap, um, where we are apparently in a fight, but not in a fight. Can't resume the fight, can't start a new fight, and so we unfortunately ended up with a big old zero, which is very unfortunate because the opening board was absolutely golden. It was a good board. Uh, I'm very confident I could have gotten the win. It was a cracker of a team as well. But yeah, unfortunately, um, SGG's absolute quality of a game means that I got a zero for my first flag, which we'll get to it later on is extra unfortunate. So yeah, I uh, it, it really set me off on the wrong foot. Um, and yeah, at getting a zero in war is never fun. Getting a zero in a fight which you literally can do nothing about just is even worse. So yeah, uh, we go back in uh, on exactly the same target um, with a different team um, because <laughs> like what the hell am I meant to do? Um, so not as good an opening board as the first one was. The first one was absolutely Perfect. It was a, a kill shot on Ghost on the first move without having to do anything. So, um, do you have Ghost dead? This team is fairly similar. It's got um, Fiddle and Aquani. It's got Dragon Fist. It's got a different uh, other two pairings of heroes. I think in the first attempt or the, the DC'd fight, I think I had Amethyst and Venus. I, I can't remember, but yeah. Uh, much better fight this time because we've maintained our connection. <laughs> so, because we can maintain our connection, we can actually get some points. Because that, that's the most annoying part about getting disconnected and the game just not restarting or putting you back in the fight is it literally saves nothing because I already had one hero dead. So, I should have gotten some points, um, but instead I got zero, like literally no points. Um, and at the end of this war, it is such a tight war um, and yeah, it just would have been really nice to have those couple points that I earned in that first fight. So yeah, um, first slash second attack, uh, the first real attack we got to complete, um, uh, with a one shot, which is really nice. Uh, ultimately though, it goes in the score books as a double tap. Um, even though it's not really the case. Um, next flag, uh, we've got Giola, Giola, Gila, uh, something like that. Um, three greens this time, so we've gone Mev and Arya, Wack and Wyatt again. Ow. Oh, pardon me. Yawn come out of nowhere. The other two heroes we've got in there are uh, Hex and Zodiac. So we've got a nice blue match on Ghost here, which will cascade a green match, and a lovely green cascade come in at the end there. So we do now have tank in the dead position. Um, we'll bring in a couple more greens, get whack charged. Unfortunately, do also charge pulse, um, which has now put a, a little bit of a, a precarious position because Amethyst has a minion and I don't have any real way of killing it because I can't do skill damage. So I did make a mistake there. I should have targeted Amethyst with whack. Um, I very much should have. That was a big mistake on my part because because I did not target Amethyst with Whack, um, she has now retained the minion, which means that I have to try and kill it with tile damage, or try and hope hope that um, at some point her stealth buff uh, wears out, which so far it has not done at a point when I've been able to use a skill on it. Um, you can see that it's, it's clear now, but literally the next turn, uh, she's about to get the stealth buff back again, and she's going to get another minion from Pulse. So I did, I did really kind of cock that one up a bit um, by not targeting Amethyst with Whack uh, way, way, way back. Um, if, if I'd done that, uh, I think this fight probably would have gone a little bit differently. Uh, as it is, I'm in a little bit of a stall position because I can do damage to Pulse and also to um, Sidestep, but I just can't get anything on Amethyst. And because I can't get any damage on Amethyst, I'm kind of in a really, really stucky position because Amethyst is just charging and recharging a skill. So yeah, more damage there. Unfortunately, lost Zodiac and also lost Whack and Pulse is charged again. Uh, so Amethyst is going to get her second minion back. So yeah, not 
not a very good position to be in. It's kind of, as I said, it's it's stalled very much. There's literally nothing I can do. I can't put damage onto Amethyst because the tiles aren't there. And yeah, that's pretty much where this fight ends because she's got her skill charged again and is going to play Whack-A-Mole with me, not the other way around. It's much more fun when I play Whack-A-Mole with Amethyst uh, than when she plays Whack-A-Mole with my hero. So yeah, a little bit unfortunate on that one. Um, probably should have targeted, as I said, Whack onto Amethyst and that would have killed the minion and stopped her from generating as much passive charge each turn. So yeah is what it is we go in this time with saw 81 um we've got a different team uh to what people probably normally see me use uh, i have gone and got brought out Grol um this time just for taunt mostly uh i wanted to combine taunt with ayumi um and this was one of the ways i could do that so uh, Ayumi brings out counter-attack. The counter-attack with taunt is really great because it forces the enemy heroes, particularly snipers, to do their damage onto the counter-attacking heroes. So um, we'll pop the charge control out on the middle three, follow it up with some damage down on uh, the right-hand side, um, and then trying to get some tile matches to get at least either green tiles or try to hopefully charge... Um, Topaz, which you can see we've done now. So, um, right here, mistake, should have targeted Pulse. Um, yeah, the <sighs> best practice is to target the most game-changing hero on the enemy team. And in this one, the, the most game-changing hero is Pulse. So, that was a mistake on my part. I very much should have targeted Pulse. Um, as a result, I don't have skills charged. I don't have any of my green tiles charged. I don't have any of my... Um, purple tiles in to do charge control that way and I definitely don't have or I do now but I didn't have the tiles to get um, Topaz recharged and fired so unfortunately Pulse has now healed everyone back to full health um, I fire with Topaz I'm not going to get the full damage because I don't have any ailments out on the enemy heroes but I did need to just get some damage off with Topaz before things start getting wrecked so um, double tap Ayumi and Emerald Try to get the damage and the charge control out on the left side, which is where I will, I should have focused my um, damage. I go off on a bit of a tangent, start making green matches onto um, Dragon Fist, which, yes, it did get him um, a bit of damage and got rid of his minion, and it also got the counter attack off, which is good, um, but better practice would have been to put the tiles on the side that I've got the charge stop on. So here I do choose to make the damage onto... Um, enemy what's his face uh dragon fist he did dodge it from topaz which is again unfortunate um so we are going to kill pulse though now with emerald and then do some skill damage onto uh dragon fist do need i am looking for either one green tile or a couple yellow tiles onto dragon fist either of those should get the kill don't get either but do get a little bit lucky i kind of forgot that i had purple as one of my heroes so we got the kill using those rogue purple tiles um, on that right hand side. So, yeah. Uh, another yawn out of nowhere. Second last flag, we've got Claudie or Cloudy. Um, another triple green uh, setup. So, another ghost tank. At the end of the day, we do face a lot of ghost tanks, or I kill a lot, or end up facing a lot of ghost tanks. Um, it's the Fiddle and Aquani setup I brought along. Uh, Syntax for some additional charge control and also Amethyst for some fast style damage. Amethyst is charged, so most of this damage is going to go at um, the Ghost Tank. Um, recharge on the purples almost, not quite, so I do pop the purple grenade just to get them all fully charged or her fully charged again. Also got a side benefit of having Syntax charged, which is really great because now I've got some charge control I can deal out. Um, so we pop the charge control on the right hand side, pop Amethyst out on the left side, and then um, we've got a nice blue match which will cascade a green and purple match. Not quite enough to kill um, Venus, but we did get a nice little green match that came in after the fact, which was enough. Um, and then yeah, double tap with uh, Equani and Fiddle on the left hand side. Didn't get Fiddle's shot to land, which is sad because that's the charge control one, but did get Syntax charged again, so I can use Syntax to charge control um, the enemy vision instead. Well, 
should have done that, could have done that, but ended up killing him with Amethyst, um, which is a better move. So, yeah, final flag. We've not gone too bad considering our horror open. We've gotten three kills, one fail, and one disconnect. So, final flag uh, going in. Again, three greens. We've got a another ghost tank. Um, so, this time around, it's ghost with the um, ruby and flank. Uh, sorry, ruby and whack flanks. Only one green match uh, available to us at the start. There's not really any other green matches available. So we are just trying to promote tiles to get them near the green ones, uh, essentially. Uh, and as much as possible, trying to just clear out a bunch of tiles. Did take the opportunity to charge Ghost, um, which is very nice. Uh, sorry, not Ghost, charge Amethyst. I did charge the enemy Ghost as well, um, but that wasn't the objective. Um, again... Fairly limited in the move opportunities we've got available to us. Uh, lose hair wear, which is one part of my charge control. Um, do get um, pulse fired, which gives me some passive charge per turn, provided the minion survives, of course, which naturally it does not because the enemy ruby is charged and fired. So there goes all my lovely minions, um, or pretty well all of them. Fortunately, did have Wyatt charged uh, with his skill, so we're able to get that... Um, armor buff that ruby makes clean cleared away um second charge and fire for ghost which just shows how little i've had by way of green tiles on this board as it is still to this point um there, there's just not a lot coming in so finally managed to get the kill on ghost so it's not going to be a total um waste of a flag but that's pretty much all we're going to have an opportunity to do at this point there's nothing else that's going to come off this one so i'll play it out we'll do as much as we can in terms of our tile matches to get as many uh damage points out but with the armor that ghost gave them and of course the fact that um we just weren't able to get ghost killed early enough it kind of doomed us somewhat on that final flag so yeah, a bit unfortunate. We did lose this fight by, as I said, eight points. It was such a close fight. So that disconnect that I suffered at the start of the war, it honestly was a turning point. We, I mean, admittedly, there were three flags or two flags we didn't use on our side. They had six, though, so that's not really the final excuse. But, yeah, just very unfortunate that that one disconnect that I had at the start had, like, ultimately a, a noticeable impact on, on the final score of the war. So, yeah, two flags our side, six flags their side, so... Yeah, eight points. Yeah. So, anyway, hopefully your wars went better. I, yeah, disconnects, bad stuff, no fun, but, yeah. Anyway, good luck. I'll catch you around. Bye.